By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to open up a pack of alliances. And this is actually the third pack that we've opened, um, that we are going to open here on the channel. If you'd like to see the other two pack openings, there's a link appearing right now and you can click there to see the other two videos. So I can tell you that we haven't found a Force of Will yet. We haven't found a Lake of the Dead yet. So hopefully this pack will um, give us one of those cards, maybe even two, you know, it's possible. Um, the uncommons are here. The rare and the uncommons are here. So I'm gonna try to open it up in a way that we just see this card first. And um, let's get cracking. Let's open it up. There we go, alliances. Third pack of the channel. Um, here we go. So these are our three uncommons. I'm just gonna put them here. And this is the rare. Let's start with the commons. I'm just gonna turn it around. There we have Sol Davy Heretic. En Enslaved Scout. It's a goblin. Look, it's 2 2. It's like a goblin hero. Um, and then a Bestial Fury. Enchant Creature. There's Reinforcements. I think I pulled that out of the first pack as well. Casting of Bones. Eshtir Glider. So that's a 2 1 flyer for 3. It's not ideal. An Undergrowth. I always used to like these cards that had the other mana symbols on them. So a green card with the red symbol or blue card with the green symbol. That was pretty new at the time. And a Sol Davy Sage. This is kind of a fascinating card, actually. I mean, you can sacrifice two lands to draw three cards, and then you discard one of them. So that actually seems pretty useful in certain uh, situations. So this is Sol Davy Sage. And now we're gonna go and look at the uncommons first. And there we go, and I'm gonna just flip it around. Let's see. We've got the Dadly Insect. I like that art, very retro. And then we have, it is a blue card, but it's a B here. It's the Browse. Interesting card. Basically, you're removing your own cards. A little expensive though. And is this one a blue card? It's a black card. And it's Feast or Famine. Well, it was actually a pretty good card at the time. Bury target non-block black non-artifact creature or put a zombie token into play and treat this token as a 2-2 black creature. What I like about these cards is that you have an option and it's also an instant. It's nice. Look at that. He's just literally buried alive, this guy. He's there throwing him in. And look at those creepy hands. Wow, it's brutal. So now it's time for the rare and is it going to be a Lake of the Dead? Let's find out. Bam! Oh, that's pretty good. A Sol Davy Excavations. That's nice. This is the land that had the first um, scry mechanic, actually. When Sol Davy Excavations comes into play, sacrifice an untapped island or bury Sol Davy Excavations. Add tap, add a colorless and a um, island to your mana pool. Or one and tap, look at the top card of your library and you may put that card on the bottom of your library. So basically you can scry with this card. Very handy. Look at all the detail in that picture. There's so much happening. People e excavating everywhere. I would love this to use this um, in my deck with the archaeologist because they seem to go hand in hand. Unfortunately, it's not... Uh, legal in the old school format, which is understandable, but flavor wise, it would make a really nice match. 
Well, thank you for watching uh, this episode of Timmy Talks and this uh, booster pack unpacking of alliances. So this was our third booster pack. I'm actually pretty happy with my Soldavia excavations mint. If you'd like to see the other two openings or more booster pack openings, just click on the link that's on the screen right now. And thank you for watching uh, Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And see you next time. Ikitus, ikitus, somba, kazee!